In today's fast-paced world, we find ourselves under a near-constant barrage of information. From our phones, from the news, from a life that has become so complicated. It is easy to become trapped in a stance, trapped reacting to the external. But for our own equilibrium, it's important for us to step back and take a moment for ourselves. To stop reacting to the external and focus on the internal. There's a lot of ways that we can do this. For a time, I kept a diary and wrote streams of consciousness. Sometimes this worked wonderfully, but other times I was unable to put my thoughts into words. I didn't know what to say, and what was supposed to be an exercise in relaxation and introspection soon turned to frustration. Perhaps some thoughts were never meant for words. This is where automatic drawing comes in. Automatic drawing, or surrealist automatism, is a method of drawing thought to bring the subconscious mind to the surface. It was developed by the Surrealists during the 20th century, and the idea is to allow the hand to move freely and randomly across the paper, to not have a plan or even a goal of what you were drawing. Many artists, including Hilma Upthint, André Masson, and Salvador Dali, practice this. By not thinking too much about what you're drawing and not working under the pressure of capturing an idea or delivering something, automatic drawing becomes meditative. Sometimes, oftentimes, you get a scribbly mess and that's okay because your mind's had a break from life stresses. You've relaxed like an artist. And sometimes, you can find your own symbolism in the chaos, a little nugget of gold that you can use in an actual piece. <laughs> 